Here's a quick rundown of what I have and what I use for my at-home pedicures. Now you can just use a basin with some warm water, but I have to be extra, so I have a, 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 a foot. This is a heated one. It's electric. It has the wheels because it's kind of big. Um, it has the balls in there. It heats up. It massages. It makes the bubbles. Uh, this is actually really great, and um, it has this little tube here so you can pour the water out. I use a foot soak when I'm soaking in the tub, um, but I actually start off with this first and just get my feet as, uh, get all the calluses and the dry skin off of my feet, then I soak, then I scrub my feet with a foot file and this petty Now I paint, I have gel paint or nail polish. These are some new fall colors I got. I have the base coat, I have the top coat, and here's a UV lamp. That is used um, along with the gel so that it lasts much longer and you don't have chipping. This is an extra step that I do, just like this is a step that they don't do. Um, after I've completed all the polish and everything, I slather my feet with this foot treatment cream, put on these gel booties, sit for like 30 minutes to an hour, and my feet get super duper soft. I also do this in between pedicures whenever I feel like my feet just need to be softened up and it really does help. Now I have this file, it's for nails or for your toes. I only used it once to get the gel off when I didn't feel like waiting for uh, to soak my fingers. It's a lazy move, but it's, you know, it's something that I had and so I used it once. Okay, so that was a really quick rundown. You don't need all those things to have an at-home pedicure. You really don't, but it makes my experience better and I think all of them help so that my feet stay super soft. Also, when you do build up your arsenal for your pedicures and your nails, after you've gotten everything, you're going to save tons of money. It's definitely worth it and it's definitely doable. Link to the products in the bio.